Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And we are in London, in England. It is almost 9 a.m. This is a realistic day in the life vlog. We've been going to bed way later, which means waking up way later. And we've been here in London for about a month. Absolutely sweet place we have here, right next to Hyde Park. Buckingham Lloyds is what it's called. We were hooked up, so we are staying here. I think they're gonna be bringing us breakfast here in a second, so that part's not really a realistic part. Oh, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, good job, freaking team. Look at that bed made. And that, that's honestly, guys, how long it takes me to get ready in the morning. Hair, slightly done. Face wash, tinted sunscreen. And then sit here and just support Morgan as she goes. It's so cute. Two hours later. This is a realistic vlog, a day in our lives. Sometimes it's not the pretty stuff that you see on Instagram. It looks like this beforehand. And it's just kind of messy. What are we doing over here? We're working. Why are we working? Where are we going next? Mexico. We booked tickets to Mexico. Viva Mexico. Football is life. Football is death if you haven't seen the newest Ted lasso you should definitely check it out um yeah so it's our last day we can check out tomorrow in this apartment before heading up to manchester next time you guys see me oh it'll be in workout clothes heading to sean stafford's gym to get a sick chest pump it's chest day oh i got a max actually today and a little bit of this to the gym Alright guys, we are here to the Athletic Victoria, Sean Stafford's gym. Sean's not here. We have been getting some good workouts with him. Today though is my push day. Basically chest and tricep. So it's my chest and tricep day with a little bit of abs in there. I'm gonna be maxing out on bench press too. So I'm kind of getting back into my training split. I'm gonna be following a bench press workout. I wanna go over 400 again. Can't know where I'm going though until I figure out where I'm at right now. So today, bad as it might sound, I am maxing out. I'm 96 kgs, which I'm a little bit light. I'm a little bit skinny. I haven't really been working out as much but it's not gonna stop us from warming up getting under that bench maxing out and then we're gonna be going through the rest of our workout it's gonna be some cable flies dumbbell incline presses then two things for tricep and we're gonna get out of here so let's get it done strap it up last set best set let's go The last warm up, 325. Not, not feeling super strong today. 211 pounds. Lightest I've been in the last six months, but gotta, gotta know where you're starting out. Hopefully, I can get 335 today. My goal is to get back to 400 in 90 days. Wait a minute. Who are you? That's 65 pounds in 90 days. We'll see how that goes. Got a, a little bit over 350 on the bar. That last one moved pretty good, so I'm gonna go up a little bit here. I'll be surprised if I get this. 350 for not really working out. We'll take it as a starting point. We'll take it. Thank you. That's good. Appreciate it. One side was a little stronger than the other. Max out of the way, 355, not too bad, but not great either. We're gonna try to get that up over 400 pounds in the next 90 days. We're gonna be doing a little YouTube on them and following a specific bench press program. I'm gonna also try to get my weight to right around 216, 217. Should be about six pounds heavier than I am now, but good starting place. I kinda like doing this in the fitness culture programs. We max out every couple of eight weeks or so to see where you're at and then we progress off of that. So everything we do in the fitness culture app is based off of a percentage of your one rep max. So it's always, hey, it's not always how I'm feeling. It's look at the paper. What's the mat? Work off that. So next up, I got my flat bench, single arm neutral grip. Love that for chest. So working in each individual side. And then we got a dip. So we're going to jump into that. A couple more chest triceps and get back out of here. I think we got a pretty special dinner tonight. So I'm going to get that.
love you, but we're gonna need heavier weights than 40, man. It's not getting the job done. So I know you don't want anyone in the gym to be stronger than you, and that's what you do. So if you guys are watching this, go go tag Sean Stafford on Instagram by Sean. Let's get some heavier weights for Steve. Last superset to chest. We got cable crossovers. We're gonna hit failure pretty much as our torso is kind of more upright. And then we're gonna bend over and do cable crossovers at a 90 degree. So it's gonna look something like this. Oh, don't forget to uh, make the weight heavier. Straight to a little booty in the air push up. It's gonna look something like this. Hopefully. This is the first workout, first chest workout. Many more to come in the next 90 days to get me to that plus 400. Like, I don't even wanna just hit like 401, I wanna hit like 410. But plus 400 bench press. 90 days to do it. All right, gotta hit those triceps. Two things for the triceps, because this isn't a dedicated arm day, it's just an afterthought basically, we've already hit chest. A lot of that's pressing, which involves triceps. If you wanna have stronger pressing, you gotta have strong triceps. So going in overhead with a dumbbell, and then also some rope. So again, three sets on each. Still getting good work, but not a whole dedicated tricep day. Training at your gym. If honestly, it's been one of our favorite parts about London. Take the tube or take an Uber. Taking the tube is a cool London experience, but we've been doing it a lot and it's kind of peak hour. I don't recommend doing things on the tube at peak hour. It would take 30 minutes on the tube and it would only take us 40 minutes to walk. I don't like that, so we're not taking the tube. Going to uh, 35 heights. One thing that I like about taxis over Ubers in London, Ubers cancel here all the time. Black cabs are everywhere. The drivers know the city much better than the Uber guys, and you don't have to wait for them. There's always one right there. I've had so many Ubers cancel on me in London, and it's really put a bad taste in my mouth. So if you want to get a unique London experience, talk to the, to the cab driver. The Uber guys don't know London like the cabbies do. Hey guys, been a busy day so far. Pretty realistic in terms of uh, how things go. Midday is usually about the time we do a little bit of work uh, because this is when everyone back in the US is starting to wake up, get back to emails. So we've been booking flights. I have a call with Gymshark, well, a Zoom with Gymshark right now regarding all of my upcoming projects. I can't say what, where, when, how. This one's gonna be super dope because it's something we've never done before. Can't wait to show you guys more on this. It's gonna be a while, but these, these are the first I'm seeing of it, so I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> Thank you.